Well, Your Honor, these women were hurt in many ways, and I, I boiled it down to three. First is repeated episodes that were terrifying and that were the kind of trauma that we meant when we define the post-traumatic stress disorder, the kind of trauma that you don't escape for years and sometimes a lifetime afterward. Images, smells, touches that come back to you when you're asleep, when you're awake, when you're in that twilight zone between sleep and wakefulness. And sometimes you feel you're going crazy because your mind isn't working the way it should. This is not normal memory. This is the brain in a different type of circuitry. So it is medical, it is physical, it is simply an extreme of anxiety. They had that. That was a terror-induced uh, state of mind. They had an entirely different dimension that, that I would call degradation, uh, defilement, dehumanization. Not, not quite the same as being placed in high arousal shock, but being treated like an animal, uh, being systematically and relentlessly deprived of your sense of self, your sense of dig dignity, your connection uh, to others. And, and, and that has to do with uh, not having access to sanitary facilities, the way you're fed, the way you're chained, all of that for a long, long time. And then, finally, they were deprived. They were deprived of mother, of family, of home, of school, of 10 years in which you make your transition from being a young woman to being a woman. And, and that kind of deprivation isn't the same as being shot and degraded. And, and, and part of what that does is it plays with your ability to know who to trust. This is the stage in which the human being is developing the capacity for real intimacy. This was not real intimacy. This was a perversion of intimacy. 